This is a daylily garden in the back behind my pool. It's got this really cool wall here and it's filled with stones. But of course, there's a lot of runoff that usually comes from the pool area. And so we have some challenges back here. That is not sedge. Daylily, not sedge. Unfortunately, in the early season, they all look the same. And so the first thing you do is you usually come here and you tug them out. The trouble is when you tug them out, two or three grow back. So today I'm gonna to show you how to kill your nut sedge in your daylilies. Coming up. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. Today I'm going to talk about nut sedge. Now I've done other videos about nut sedge in the lawn. In fact, I'll show you some of that right now. See this nice healthy plant right here? This, growing taller than the rest of my grass, is nut sedge. If you pull it, it just grows back and grows back even thicker. So I have most of it under control in my lawn. The best way to identify nut sedge is to wait a few days after mowing and you'll see it grows a little bit faster than the rest of your grass. But it's not too bad. There's just a couple of them. Some over here too, but that's about it. So I, I don't really need to spray an awful lot. Now the spectricide stuff is my favorite weed killer and it does kill crabgrass and it is labeled for nut sedge as well. But there is a product that is just made for nut sedge and it is much better. The product I'm talking about is called Sedge Hammer. This is Sedge Hammer Plus. It comes in these little convenient packets. I buy it online. They are easy mix with one gallon of water and you just spray it in a gallon sprayer if you want a whole gallon. If you don't want a whole gallon, you can kind of wing it and just grab half the packet and put half of it in a Ziploc bag to save for another time and use the half each time. And that's what I'm doing. Now what I do is I use a small sprayer. This one is a 56 ounce pump sprayer. I'm gonna put this in here and fill it up with water. Now I know this is 56 ounces, whereas this is supposed to be 64 ounces. That's okay, it'll be a little extra strength. Doesn't matter, it still works. And they say this requires no additives, so you don't need any dish soap or anything like that as a surfactant. I don't have much in the lawn, but that's not what the point of this video was. The point of this video was the daylilies. So let's go see how we take care of those. Wow, look, I got a big one right in the middle of this daylily. Look at that. Now, how on earth would I spray that without getting it on the rest of the daylily? Well, the trick is this. You don't have to worry about it. Sedge hammer doesn't affect daylilies. How did I know that? Well, I tried it a couple weeks ago and said, well, I got to get rid of the, the uh, sedge. So I sprayed it, and this is what it looks like. Now, I didn't get all of it. Some of it is still here, and I'm going to do another application. But this is about 14 days. You can see that the, the nut sedge is yellow, and the uh, daylilies are fine. They're thriving. I need to give a little bit of a warning here. This claim is based on my 14-day test only. Sedge Hammer is not labeled as safe for daylilies, so please use it at your own risk. But I'm gonna give this another coat. I've got some inside these daylilies too. I don't know why, but they just tend to flock around the daylilies. leaves are the same shape, so it's really hard to tell when you've got nut sedge inside the daylily or not. So sometimes you just spray proactively. And if I don't get it all, I'll get it next year. Now, 
sedgehammer is known as a selective herbicide, and it's designed to kill nut sedge and not kill grass. But it's not necessarily safe for every plant. I just tried it on the daylilies to confirm that it would work, and I figured, well, it, it would be easy to replace the daylilies if we did kill them, but I needed the nut sedge gone. But you can see this weed right here, that's thriving. So now that I know sedge hammer is safe for daylilies, I can pretty much blanket spray this whole garden and it won't be a problem. So that's it, that's how you get rid of nut sedge in daylilies. Thanks for watching.